All right, guys, what's up? It's Silent. And since I'm doing this quick trip to New York City and the Bronx, I figured I'd show you something that's really big and part of the culture here in New York City overall, but especially in the inner cities like the Bronx, Brooklyn, etc., which is the street sellers. So you have the people who sell all the fruits, fresh fruits and vegetables, more affordable than at the supermarket for the most part. And as you continue to walk down any, most streets in the Bronx, especially in, in high uh, volume areas where there's shopping, like here with all these stores, you'll see all kind of street sellers, all kind of music blasting. You'll even see people selling like little knickknacks, almost like a thrift shop in the street. And it's pretty cool. Like right here, you see some DVDs being sold, children's books. This is some cool stuff to get if you're a teacher and you wanna give to your students in class. So these are the little knickknacks, like I said. Drift shop type of stuff. Wow, this is nice for someone who likes Wizard of Oz. You got little keychains. Hat sellers, scarves. This is the normal stuff you'll see. Monday, right? Look at these toys. You know, everybody's hustling, trying to make make a dollar out of fifty cent. <laughs> Especially after the pandemic. And so many people losing their jobs. It makes sense why people would just be out here. Trying to make money. At least they're doing it a, a, a positive way in a sense. Here you got all kind of sneakers. Knickknacks. Clothes. Socks. More fruits. Wow, I haven't seen bootlegs in so long. This used to be heavy in the 90s, like bootleg tape and boot, uh, bootleg CDs and movies. What are these? Oh, for the Crocs? Thank you. Well, all righty. People left in the smoke. That's crazy. More hats. You'll see this really all year long. Wallets, hats, etc. That's the normal sellers. Yo, 
know, and people really be buying. That's the thing. They be making money. Drop me a comment if you grew up in the Bronx or Brooklyn, any other boroughs, and you know all about this. And what do you think about it? Should there be like a flea market type store where they can put everybody in? Or do you think this is okay for them to do? Oh, look at this. And these dolls look pretty clean. You know, not everything looks junky get a luggage I'm saying you could really find some stuff if you really look and let me ask y'all because through the years I feel like you can get bean trolls it's like a restaurant up in here that's what I wanted to ask y'all because back in the day I don't remember it being like a whole Restaurant platform, they got ice cream, bro, flowers. But yeah, it never used to be a whole setup like that, at least from what I remember growing up. That's crazy. Let's go over here, you got some more sellers, see what they got. Gotta watch when you're crossing. What are these? Uh, ice cream. Oh, they got a lot of stuff. Bags, statues. These are nice little uh, figurines. See, I don't remember none of this being like this. A restaurant. They got a damn stove out here in this street. Wow. I know they used to have those kind of things like when there's festivals, street festivals happening during the summertime. And you know, winter's winding down, spring is out almost here or is it spring already i don't even know music is blaring this is the bronx Anyway, I wanted to give y'all guys a little taste of what's to come with my Bronx series coming soon to travel with silent true exclusives you know how we do so stay tuned for egypt series coming up real soon then we got the bronx and we got all over the world <laughs> all right peace